Hey folks, Soto Bashrov here with our third video from our CSP uh, How to Get Started series. So um, today we're going to talk about um, delegated admin permissions and what does that mean? So as you know, we work in the government scenario uh, and in the government areas. So many times we have customers that don't necessarily need us to be in their tenants and help them manage some of these of these things. So there is, as you know, with, with CSP, you are enabled to, to manage your customers, you manage them end to end, you're able to create subscriptions for them, create all of these resources. You can be as involved or as not involved as they need you to be. Uh, one of the current questions that we get very often is like, hey, can I ensure that I don't get access to my customer's data. And if that is something that your customer uh, requires, and that's totally doable. To achieve that, uh, what we do is we basically break the partner relationship between you and your customer. But don't worry, and the only thing that happens is you lose the ability to enter their, their tenant. Um, by default, you are able to, you know, as I said, by default, you're able to help them get set up. Uh, but if they really want to isolate you completely from that scenario, then we can definitely do that. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, we leverage a couple of things, a couple of portals. So uh, make sure to follow along and, and you know keep, keep copious notes if you want to achieve that on your end. So if you've been following this series of videos that we're doing, we've been using uh, two uh, main uh, players. We have our department of demo, which is our customer, right? And they're working on these top secret projects, and we don't. And we've got to make sure that we don't, you know, uh, get access to their data because not all of our personnel has clearance, right? So because of that, uh, they want to severe relationship with a partner. And and again, don't take this, uh, you know, the hard way. Severe. We only, as I said, we're limiting their access to their Azure portal. But you, as a partner, and as your CSP are still able to manage in your dashboard any partner center. You can still create subscriptions for them. You can still uh, bill them and see all their billing details and so on. You will only not be able to uh, go into the tenant unless they want you to. They can definitely keep on creating for you. Uh, they can create a specific user within that Azure management portal. And from there, the, the, you can go in again and help them if they need some help to move forward. Right. So let's uh, do a quick run through this. So, um, I'm right now in my dashboard as my, you know, CSPGA, which is kind of my my OLAP my OLAP company with its tenant, which is uh, Test Test FF CSP Azure, and then on this uh, side I have my Azure portal for admin at department of of, of uh, demo uh, dot com. So how do I go ahead to break this relationship from a from a delegated admin privileges into the Azure portal? So uh, fairly simple. So there's one uh, key portal that you need to visit. So we will go into into uh, portal dot office three six five dot us. You will hit enter, and of course I typed it wrong. So let me give it one more time. Portal dot office three six five dot us. And um, given my current sessions and how I'm logged in, this will take me in. It, it, it's uh, uh, logged in with demo customer test. Let me make sure that this is actually what I want to be logged in as, and this is admin at department of demo dot Microsoft.com, and that's correct. So you got to make sure that this is you're working with your customer to achieve this. They need to log in into this portal dot office three sixty five dot us with their administrator account, and and once they are here, uh, they'll be able to take a couple of actions, right? So once they're logged in, great. Then you can click here on this. This is the first time you're logging in. You you'll have a chance to select. Uh, you know, a couple of things of what to do, to view when you log in here. But uh, this link here in the center that says admin and active users is where you want to go. So click on this link and uh, you will see a couple of things that we will go through. So once uh, your customer does this, as I said, keep in mind, you will no longer have access to their tenant. You will be able to still manage your subscription and, and, and create new ones for them. And you will be able to still um, look at their billing and, and so on, but you won't get in, in their tenant. They can create a new account for you in their tenant if they so wish to do so. So make sure to, to keep that very present before you go ahead and see this relationship. Um, so while this loads, let's give it a, a few more seconds. Uh, it looks like my, my Wi-Fi here may be giving me a little bit of, of, a, of a hard time. I'll click on it again just to make sure the browser is not, uh, is not sleeping on me. And uh, you will see this. So you will see here that the only user that you have within this tenant today is the demo customer test. 
but there is one relationship that exists that is located here in the settings. So you will go here to the left, you will expand in settings, and you will see a couple of things that today, as I said, because you are only using Azure, you're only using this portal for identity management, uh, you don't see a lot of, of these scenarios and you don't have to worry about this, this, uh, this, uh, the rest of the features here at this point. But you do worry about this partner relationship or this is what you care about, right? So you come into the partner relationship and I'll click on it and let's wait for it to load. And you will see that today it exists a relationship between the test test FFCSP Azure, which is my company, my OLA partner company, and what kind of relationship that is, it's a cloud solution provider and admin. So if you select it, you will have a couple of, of, of things that you can do. You can uh, remove that delegate admin access. So if you click on this link, you will get a, a note, and also the partner on the other side will get an email saying like, hey, this delegated admin access has been removed. So you're you're good to go. That at that point in time, you don't you don't need to worry about them going into the custom tenant. So I'll go ahead and remove that. And once that is done, uh, it's it's uh, it's basically as I said, you can still manage a lot of things for them. And at this point, I am only a cloud solution provider. I'm no longer a cloud solution provider and admin. So so that's great. We've taken that step. I'll go ahead and close my Office portal. And then uh, I'll close this Azure portal as well and just go to the dashboard. Now, what, what does this mean for you as a partner? So, for instance, I'll show you a quick look because it does take a couple of minutes for, for all these permissions to propagate to the Active Directory. But if I look at, at uh, for example, I have this remove that test uh, customer here. I'll expand it. So, if I expand it here, if you're logging in, usually when you log in um, here in the, in the portal with, a, with an all up, uh, global administrator, one of the things that you will notice is for each one of your customers, you have a link here that says Microsoft Azure Management Portal. What this does is if you click it, it will log you in into your customer's um, Azure Management Portal using the delegated admin privileges. Uh, for this customer, which is the remove DAP test, I've, I've already done the removal of the delegated admin access as we just did. And you see there is no link to go into the Microsoft Azure uh, Management Portal. So this basically, once you see this thing disappear from here, this means that all the necessary, uh, you know, uh, all the necessary steps uh, and uh, admin permissions have propagated through all the Active Directories, and you're pretty much good to go. Well, uh, keep tuned in. With this, we conclude our uh, walkthrough of how to remove the delegated admin permissions in CSC for Government. Keep tuned in for more videos and tips of how to get started on Azure Government for CSP. Thanks for joining.